The only trick of love is to find people who are better than you, kinder, more generous, and more forgiving, and then to appreciate them for what they can teach you, and to try to listen to them when they tell you something about yourself, no matter how bad or good it might be, and to trust them, which is the hardest thing of all, but the best as well. I love you, not only for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you, not only for what you have made of yourself, but for what you're making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. A couple of, well, maybe two years ago now, I suppose, I was talking to a friend of mine in work and uh, he had just got married and we were chatting about it just and he said I was saying that it was like something that I thought I'd actually love but I wasn't like you know we talked about for ages about like do we want to and we just stay partners forever and do, you know what do we think about marriage and wedding and all that stuff and he said we'll take a day off work and go down to Brighton um, and stroll around um, he said that, like it's, it's the place to go for engagement rings and stuff and on the way on the train just think about it and see if you feel like it's the right thing to do and if not just have a day out and get a cup of coffee and have a great time. Uh, so I took a day off work and, you know, Claire doesn't do lies, she doesn't do any sort of anything, but it was, I took a day off work. So I got my normal train into London, I got the train down to Brighton, um, had brilliant, lovely breakfast, coffee, everything, strolled around Brighton, and I did all the, all the shops, and the first shop I went into, I saw this little Alex Monroe ring that was just so unusual, and it was so clear, and then, oh, there we go, uh, on the train down, I just knew, I knew it was the right thing to do, and I bought the ring there and then. Thank you for always being there for me. <laughs> Anytime I need anything or support, you're always there. I've always known that I am loved and that has been a huge strength throughout my life because I have that firm, solid base of knowing that I am loved and that is the greatest gift you could possibly give me, so thank you. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish, weak things that you can't help dimly seeing there and for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make of the lumber of my life not a tavern but a temple, out of the works of my everyday not a reproach but a song. I love you because you've done more than any creed could have done to make me good. And more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You've done it without a touch. Without a word. Without a sign. You you've done, done it, it by, by being, being yourself. yourself. Perhaps that's what being a friend means after all. Thank you so much for being my best friend, <laughs> for being my big spoon, <laughs> for always being there for me, always, whenever I need you. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for being you. And you also have taught me so much. I am me because of you. Thank you and thank you for <laughs> agreeing to share your life with me. That kind of teaching, that kind of just um, guiding through life, I guess, is, is I can't thank you enough for that. And I think that's 
I can honestly um, stand here today and say that I'm, I'm the happiest I've ever been. The way I think is that, you know, this is, this is the life you have. This is all we know. This is my life. This is, this is the 80, 90, 95, 100 years we have on this planet. And the greatest gift um, I think anyone can give anyone is to say, here's my life.